everyone welcome back to my channel to a brand new video today's video is a primark shop with me i woke up this morning monday morning to full-on rain what a better way to spend the day whilst it's raining and pouring down than to go shopping like it's my favorite thing to do like when it's raining on those rainy days i get all in my feels all i want to do is shop so Primark's a good one. I also want to bake all the yummy foods. <laughs> I also want to eat all the yummy foods as well when it's raining, but however, that's not a very good idea. So we go shopping instead, you see? Pick your poison. So every autumn, I have a list of things I like to stock up on. So that's comfy underwear sets. You know those Primark comfy underwear sets? I need to buy some of those. I've got none left. They're just great, aren't they, to have on underneath like loungewear around the house when you're having like a cosy rainy day like today. I also need like socks, cosy fluffy socks. I like to wear socks around the house and... I need trainer socks as well to go inside my boots because I can't wear boots without socks on. Are you guys the same? Yeah. I need some beauty bits, just essentials really. So we're going with a little bit of a list today and hopefully we'll see loads and loads of clothing and knitwear because I love knitwear. Anyway, we're going to stop waffling and we're just going to throw it back to our Primark shopping trip this morning and let's see what's in store. Straight through the door, we are hit with the Athleisure wear. So all the joggers and the jumpers, I love this collar line. These are really nice. They say Colorado on them. Too fussy for me with the writing. We've then got these bubble jackets, puffer jackets. Not a fan of a puffer jacket or the puffer accessories. Also these. <laughs> I'm seeing everybody in these at the moment. Are they like gym wear leotards? Are they called leotards? I don't know what they're called. I don't like them. I think they're awful. I'm sorry if you like these. It's not a reflection of you and your style. It's just not me. Oh, they've got these Harvard leggings. They're coming up quite red, cherry red on camera, but they're actually more of a wine colored red. And then we've got this Minnesota sweatshirt in the trending now section ice hockey or something like that i think you can't have enough of these jumpers over here we have some hoodies again in this wine color it's not a very nice wine color it's not exactly the shade that i love but this one's really nice it's a hoodie and it's got the vintage sports washington We've then got some plain hoodies. I do prefer a plainer hoodie, jumper, logo. So these are quite nice. This one's a sage green colour, which is quite nice. And then next to it, we have the standard beige. Over here, we've got zip-up hoodies. And then this is quite nice. It's like a vintage brown like a worn vintage look and I really like it the only thing putting me off is that big writing across the front if that was smaller I'd absolutely have that and then we have these I saw these last year they had like vintage artwork on the front of them again with the vintage they've got these vintage denim hats so this is in a green it says Colorado Aspen on they're four pounds each they also have these plain vintage denim Moving on to this section, we have this Yale collection. Now, I don't like novelty stuff, but I can get on board with the Yale stuff. It's navy blue, which is a gorgeous colour. It's just not my colour. I prefer a forest green or a wine red. I think you're either one of those colours, aren't you? And so, yeah, this collection is the navy. And then these bags, these tote bags, was here last time. And I think I mentioned this, but they're gorgeous bags. Quilted, like a faux leather. How much are they? So the only... Oh, <laughs> pulled that off. The only thing I don't like about that is that really shiny chrome. If that was gold hardware on this bag, especially on this one, that would be absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know why they didn't do that. 
Okay, these leggings are back in and um, they was in last year as well. I love these. They're that material that really pulls you in and they've got a front seam down. So they look like expensive. So we've got lots of um, tops, just basic tops, high neck, roll neck, crew neck. They're very, very cheap, thin t-shirt material. So moving on to leggings, I've just spotted these. They've just gotten a plethora of black le leggings and I'm not a black legging girl. I'm looking for a really dark chocolate brown. Then again, I saw this cherry burgundy color and guys, I think I'm gonna have to get some of these because I'm into this color at the moment. So moving over to nails, which is one of the reasons why I'm here today. And I'm looking for my classic ombre. Let's just check out the other designs. They've got this marble effect design. And I've had these matte uh, ombre ones before and this stain and they don't last two minutes. These almond gloss with the gold tips I've had before and I didn't really like them either. And then, oh, these are new. I've not seen these ones before, but the, the pointed gloss, which lasts me, and they, I think they look the best. So I usually go for my ombre. They don't seem to have them in stock. What am I going to do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to have to get one of these instead, unfortunately. But I suppose we could try them. So whilst we're in the beauty section, guys, we found these lip plumpers. I've never seen these before. So they plump your lips and volumize your lips. Not that I need any of that. <laughs> and then we've got these sponges, makeup sponges. And I have been using a sponge, a makeup sponge, just recently. I don't usually use a sponge. And I would like to try those triangular things. Moving on, I am here for some really comfy underwear sets. Like these are the most comfiest sets. They're like five pounds for a matching set and they're just really handy to have under loungewear. I've just spotted this and I can't help but think, oh my God, it is beautiful. It's in this olive color. They've got it in different colors, but this olive color has really caught my eye. How nice is this? Where are the knickers? Yeah, I really like this, guys. I've just come back to it because I'm just wondering if I should pick it up. I just can't seem to find the knickers to match. So we've got to the pyjama section and I'm ready to buy another pair of pyjamas for the autumn. These have caught my eye. They're a navy blue. I just don't think navy will work in my colour scheme, but they're a classic, gorgeous colour these are gorgeous they're like white are they silk let me feel them they're really soft they're like between a silk and a cotton kind of i'm sure that's not real fabric the real fabric but it feels like that and then they've got these lace at the bottoms are they part of a bridal set not sure they've only got the trousers there's no top and that's the thing about the nightwear section in this store in particular like this for instance they never seem to have the set next to each other. So the navy pyjama bottoms we've just seen, this is the top to match. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the buttons. And then we've got another matching set. Now, I don't know how to feel about these guys. This print. Ooh, the material is gorgeous. And I am a fan of trees and woodland and all this, but I'm, I don't think I'm a fan of this print. I don't think I could wear this print anyway. But the gorgeous pyjamas, I've not seen these before, so these are definitely new in. But the fabric is gorgeous. Yeah, so we're back in the nightwear section. So they've got the black version of these satiny silk pyjamas. Classic black, gorgeous. And where are the trousers? There's no trousers to match. So in the £15 section, like I was trying to explain once, they're always on these little stands rather than hung. And these ones are a bit cheaper. These are £12, but they've got all these different patterns. Pink, blue, grey, checkered trousers and boyfriend style shirt pyjamas. And they're just really, really handy. And then you go up to the £15 mark. 
excuse me. So we've got these are quite fabulous, aren't they? Animal print. I actually think these are really gla glamorous. These are really glamorous, aren't they? They're not a bit of me, but um, I can see why people love animal print. Then we've got these navy and white stripe, and I don't know if I can get on board, you guys. I don't know. It's because it's the time of year. So in the autumn, winter, sorry, in the spring, summer, I feel like this stripe, the blue and white stripe, is okay. And then we have more of the boyfriend pajamas. So these ones are 15 pounds and these are gorgeous. They've got the piping detail and the like super jersey material. So comfy, so classic. Can't have enough of these, I don't think, in your collection. They do them in all sorts of colors. That navy's lovely. Ooh, they've got these, which have caught my eye. This waffle knitted top. And I just love how it cinches up at the sides. That's very, very sweet. And how much are these? Seven pounds. So they've got a lot of different styles. So this is the shorts to match. So we've got shorts and tank top. Shorts are eight pounds. And then over here, I've, I spied a long sleeve top. It's got that cinching detail at the side again. And how much is that? 10 pounds and then we've got the long trousers so you can get the full set if you wanted to so affordable what a lovely little set that is and then we have these checkered fabric trousers pajama bottoms these are absolutely gorgeous fabric you know and then we've got these lilac spotted satin pajamas just a shirt style and shorts however i do feel like that's quite easter for me Oh, bar humbug. <laughs> I can't help but show you guys these. What in the bloody hell are these? Are these Halloween pajamas? Because, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? 20 pounds to look like a flipping Beetlejuice? I don't think so. Oh, no, please, no. Guys, who's buying this stuff? <gasps> If I greeted my husband in this, he would divorce me the next day. I am telling you now. Who in the hell is wearing this stuff? They're not for kids. They're adult sizes. What is that? What is that? Who is wearing this around the house? These big lounger hoodies. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I feel sick. I feel sick to the pit of my stomach. Oh, this is quite nice. Let me feel this. Oh, it's like a thin cotton. It's a bit thin, actually. £12. Where are the trousers? Oh, it's in the maternity um, collection. But I don't mind that. I always have a food baby. <laughs> okay, we're in the socks section. I am here for socks today as well. And, um, yeah, these are really thick wool socks like full winter socks i'm um, you're talking january february weather um skiing socks <laughs> type of socks we're not quite there yet are we i just wanted some trainer socks and just some like nice little chanel style socks just to lounge around the house with but these are far too thick they're gorgeous colors though I'm trying to find the price of these. Oh, they're on the back. Okay, more socks. So these are the kind of designs we're looking at. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, I can see we're in the Disney section, you guys. Mickey Mouse. No, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Okay, slippers. Let's see what we've got. So we've got these ones, like jersey style. They're really, really cheap feeling, these ones. Um, how much are they? But they've got these Ugg dupes. These are a little bit better feeling. They feel more quality. They've got like a thicker sole. They feel heavier, basically. And these are £9. We've got more slippers. I do like these crisscross style slippers. They're really nice to have around the house. These colors are beautiful. And let's see the price of these, seven pounds. Okay, we're back in the, I, I would say the trending section. 
Oh, this dress is absolutely beautiful. Look at the emerald green in this dress, you guys. Oh, wow. Now, I will, I would buy a dress like this in the autumn winter because you can just throw a knitted jumper over the top and have like a dress uh, jumper boots combo. I think that looks really nice, especially in the autumn time. It's stunning, is that? It's like a maxi dress as well. Next to that, we have these grey knitted jumper dresses oversized jumper dresses let's see the price 19 pounds for one of those and then we have these really sweet dresses i love the the print on these ones so this is 11 pounds beautiful now teamed with a pair of boots dot martin boots and a cardigan that would be absolutely beautiful however it's not midi or maxi enough for me We've got this green again. I'm just so attracted to green this autumn winter, but they've got these tailored trousers and they are 14 pounds. How nice for work wear, that is stunning. Next to that, we've got these black thick like scarves. And then I've just spotted this in the navy again. This is a pinstripe work wear suit and the trousers are 14 pounds they're stunning you guys and it's that nicer material they've got the blazer to match let's have a little look at that and what price is the blazer 22 pounds for the full set so that's lovely so we've got this green blazer to match the trousers unfortunately they weren't in the same vicinity i don't know why they do that like put them together <laughs> the quality feels amazing and the blazer is 22 and then we're on to this section it says blouses but there's all sorts over here which is really catching my eye so we've got these scrunchies i love it when they do a collection like this and they put everything that goes together in one spot like that's my dream job you guys styling up a shop like that um, they've got these blouses in the green, like a khaki olive green. And then they've got these trench coats, £35. Classic trench. They've got the tortoiseshell buttons. I don't think you can go wrong with a trench like that. Everybody needs one in the collection. And then they've got, let me pop it up here. They've got these blazers. How a question is that blazer? Absolutely love it. My husband's got a shirt like this. It's gorgeous. And it's got the chocolate lining. And then down here next to it, we've got these jumpers in this gorgeous olive colour. How nice would that be underneath that blazer? And then leggings we showed you before. Oh my God, stunning. That is right up my street. <laughs> so £8. And then I think we saw these last time we were in store, but I do love these backpacks. I love what they've done with them. I love the stitching on the front. It looks really expensive. And then moving on, we have this little section here. So again, we've got another pair of them trousers, them leggings that suck you in. This is more of a faux suede material. So they're 14 pounds. I couldn't recommend these leggings enough, you guys. If you like high-waisted and something that sucks you in, they're really comfy. And then we've got these Chelsea boots, tonal Chelsea boots down here. We've got more blazers up here. Again, this one's a checkered one. It's like a hound's tooth, like a really mini hound's tooth blazer. It's black and white though, not in like the browns or the neutrals, which is more of my style. And then we've got this gorgeous little dress up here. We've got some 100% wool, uh, I nearly said beanies, but they're called berets, aren't they? Now I can get on board with a beret, not gonna lie. So th there's this dress, 12 pounds. It's like a polka dot green. It's really quite nice actually. Again, with some boots and some tights and a cardigan over the top. Really good layering pieces for the autumn. So we've got this maternity dress. And I'm not being funny. I could really get on board and wear this. It's a gorgeous stripe, um, classic stripe. The stripes we've been, all been seeing for the last year or so. And it's a maxi dress. Spotted this gorgeous satin ombre skirt. I just don't like how it goes up at the side. I've just flung that off. <laughs> 
And then these trousers, I'm seeing a lot of these trousers. I think they're trending. So they're like a comfy pair of trousers and they've got a stripe down the side. They've got the navy blue and tan. And I don't know which colorway I like the most. I don't like the feel of the fabric on these ones in particular though. Okay, moving on, more stripes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get sick of the stripes now. Are you? I do love them, they're classic, but I'm sick of them. More stripes and that collar line. So this is a nice sports looks. Jumper, knitted jumper, very thick fabric. Moving on, we have this gorgeous shirt and cable knit jumper set, 17 pounds. And then we have these little sweet cardigans. How nice is that over a little uh, over a midi dress? Gorgeous, very much my style. Love that. And then we more stripes. So we've got this cardigan and it's fifteen pounds. I quite like that. It's quite slouchy looking. I quite like that one actually. Then we've got these cable knit jumpers. They're just round neck jumpers. I love these over the top of shirts because I just love a shirt, as you all know. I just spotted that collar line. I'm always attracted to this sports looks collar. That's really nice, isn't it? In that green color. I've not seen these in store before, so that must be new. And then we're moving on. We've got these cable knitted cardigans. That's quite nice as well. 15 pounds. It's got the tortoiseshell buttons. So then I've spotted these maxi length cardigans, just a long line cardigan, really. They've got this slate gray color. And they've got this like, what did you call it? Marle grey, which is the lighter grey, I think you call it, colour. That one doesn't have a hood though, so they're quite different, aren't they? It's got big deep pockets, which I absolutely love round the house. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Round the house, just to throw on. So £17. They just don't have my colours. So here's some mannequins. And some more mannequins. I've just spotted this rust coloured jumper. Oh my god, it's got a hole. There's a hole in my jumper. Dear Liza, a hole. Right, we'll move that one to the side so that nobody buys it. And how nice is this? I love the giant cable knit design. So it's £20, but it feels good, you guys. Not quite sure if it's going to be itchy or not. Okay, so I found some trainer socks. This is the reason why I'm here. I'm starting to get the socks out. Oh, these colours are nice. Look at these. These are quite nice. I'm looking for if they're cotton or not. And then I've just spotted this green set with all the different greens in. These are quite nice as well. So I'm looking for if they're cotton. Oh no, guys, the polyester. We're gonna sweat to death in those. So I've just seen these hair bands. You know, I love an Alice band. These are quite glitzy, aren't they? Nice little headbands if, you, if, if we're going out anywhere. Not that we've been going anywhere lately, let me tell you. <laughs> I've got cabin fever. I'm just so happy to be in Primark. Okay, so we've got Halloween section so we've got all these halloween earrings if you celebrate halloween i used to celebrate halloween i don't celebrate halloween anymore because i follow a christian faith but um yeah i would have gone mad for these a few years ago i'm not gonna lie they do all sorts of um cat ears and witches hats Moving on to scarves. Oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? I love these big, thick, chunky knit scarves with the tassels. I think they're gorgeous. So we've got the pink shades. We've got the neutral shades, checkered shades. I think they're very autumnal in these checkered shades. We've got the classic black colour block. And then we've got this like an ombre style grey looking one. That's quite nice as well. And then we've got this sagey green colour. I'm going to come around this side, you guys. Got this sagey green colour and cream next to it. I think they're more my style because they are plain. They just go in more outfits if they're plain. And then, oh, this is new. I've not seen this one. Eight pounds. This is like a striped one. I really like that. Okay, we've got these um, boucle 
tote bags. I just don't like the pattern. If that was just a plain boucle, it would look really expensive. £14. Oh, these are quite cute. It's in this gorgeous lemon sherbet colour. And they're like buttery soft, tiny little wallet on chain style bag. You know, if you're going out in the evening. How nice. And then we've got this black one. It's got a structured bottom. I like the shape of this one. It's quite nice as well. How much is that? So we're in the shoe section. It's very busy here. But I've just spotted these and made a beeline for them. Forest green. Ugg dupes. How much? Seven pounds. I'm sure they were nine pounds last year. But I love that colourway. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we're in the denim section. I'm going to quickly scan over this you guys because I don't and I'm not very good with denim so I can't even talk to you about it but they've got all the denim <laughs> um not a denim fan like I said so I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about when it comes to denim but I've just spotted these um leather pleather trousers I know they do these every year if you're into them they've got the chocolate brown the tan the cream as usual and then they've got these um, jeggings as well, mid-rise jeggings. Lots of different colours. And then we have a plethora of uh, bubble coats. Do you call them bubble coats? Yeah, bubble coats and gilets. And then we've got this teddy coat here. It's a bit like an aviator, but not. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Um, and this, I expect, is the coat section, which is quite underwhelming. They've got this green one here. It's not long enough for me. It's quite a smart coat. £28, and they've got it in the grey as well. £27. It might be a bit different if it's a different price. They've got the black, all the classic neutral colours, and, of course, the classic tan, which I love. If that were a long maxi coat, then that would be good for me. Okay, so back from Primark, what did you guys think? I did think the tailoring was beautiful, like the green suit and the navy pinstripe suit. However, I don't really buy things like that because I just wouldn't get the wear out of it. I mean, if I was at work every day, like a nine to five office job, then they're the kind of things I would be reaching for and buying into. Yeah, I think they're killing it with the tailoring this year. I did spot some like rusty orangey coloured suiting as well. Oh, knitwear wise, I wasn't overly excited. I did like those long cardigans with the belts, you know, for around the house. I think they're really, really nice. I get a lot of wear of things like that around the house. They did it in the slate grey and then the really light grey as well. And I just don't like those colours. They wash me out. I prefer a neutral, warmer tone for my skin tone. And that's just what suits me the most. Oh, pyjamas. I did love the navy satin sheen pyjamas. They looked really expensive. I think in the autumn winter, there's three colours, I would say, in my own opinion, that are absolutely classic, rich, and they just look really expensive. And that is forest green, so like the deep, darker greens, and wine red you know the burgundy red the deep claret burgundy red and then also a navy a deep navy color those three colors in the winter i think are absolutely stunning and just like yeah not inspired enough to do a primark haul on this occasion here's hoping for next time but i thought i'd show you all what was in store anyway because not everyone's got the same tastes as me which i'm fully aware of but i did manage to pick up a few bits and bobs from my little list of essentials that i actually went in for today so we spent 23 pounds 80 in store today and i'll just quickly show you what i got you can click out this video if you want it's nothing exciting at all they're just essentials really i just picked up these comfy like bra sets this is a pack of three they've got this pink color which i'm not keen on but they do have this gorgeous well i don't know what color it's coming up like a mauvey purpley color on there like a plum but it's not it's more of a chocolate brown color so i really like that color as well as the cream and how much was this so it's a pack of three 
and how much was it? £12 for three, which I think is really affordable. They're super comfy. I've been working out as well, you know, like in the mornings. We'll see how long that lasts for. And I just think that they're great, these like comfy bras to put on. Like, yeah, I wish I could go braless. I would all the time if I had the boobs for it. Unfortunately, I do have boobs and I need support at all times, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, these are really, really comfy, really handy to have. They've got strapless, strapless? They've got um, adjustable straps as well. And yeah, there's nothing more to say about those really. Really comfy underneath loungewear sets around the house, underneath your hoodies, when you're having a tracksuit day, when you're having a down day, just gorgeous. I've actually done my hair this afternoon for this video and used the top two clips, but I picked up these tortoise shell. Yeah, these little tiny little grips. Let me get one out because they're so easy to get off. And uh, that's what they look like. Just these little gripper clips grip <laughs> try again just these little gripper clips and as you can see i've just pinned my fringe up because my fringe is growing out i was trying to cut it myself as you've probably seen in previous vlogs if you're a regular on my channel if you're not then please subscribe <laughs> quick shameless plug there um but yeah i needed some something to clip my fringe back with it's starting to really grow out now i am actually ready for a six month cut because it's starting to look a little bit drab on the ends not too bad but it's getting there you know it's getting to that time where i need a cut so i might just book in for a haircut and i probably will cut the bangs back in i do love having the bangs and uh, especially now because Princess Kate has had her hair chopped. What do you guys think about it? I love it. So she's had the, the 70s bangs put into her hair and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, obviously she's copied off me because I've had the bangs for months now. But anyway, we're totally digressing. Um, yeah, these are really handy just to keep my fringe out of my face. And um, you need to be committed to the bangs, don't you? They need styling on every day and I do have a method but on the days like this morning where it was raining and I didn't want to bother styling my fringe just for it to get rained on it's nice to just pin up the fringe like this and I've used these and they were £1.50 and they had different ones different sizes they even had like little tiny mini ones as well so yeah really handy to have in your like makeup drawers oh more essentials leggings i do like to wear leggings in the winter and it's really hard to find a pair of dark chocolate brown like almost black but not quite black chocolate brown leggings they had a plethora of leggings all black and black is just too harsh on me like i said i'm a tonal girl and i prefer a really dark chocolatey brown it just goes with everything else in my wardrobe and doesn't look too contrasting if i put all my creams and my tonal wear with chocolate brown sorry with black it looks like black and white like very contrasted whereas if it's chocolate brown it's more tonal it makes me look really weird this color on camera we're having trouble in the vlogs aren't we because i've been buying into this color a lot this season and everything i've shown like that ralph lauren jumper that we bought from vinted it just makes me look really washed out on the screen look normal well we're not normal the, the sun's having a day and it's you know playing us so <laughs> apologize for the lighting today it's just typical autumnal lighting but yeah these are more of a wine burgundy deep burgundy color i'm gonna pop in an extra clip just so you can see the color of these because they're gorgeous so these were seven pounds and i just love this color with chocolate brown like together so um that's why i had to pick these up for the sake of the price then again after primark i went into mns and they've got some really nice leggings obviously they're a bit more of a higher price point but i feel like the quality is the reason for that i might take these back if they're not what i'm looking for and i might just go to mns and buy myself some leggings in the color that i wanted originally which was the chocolate brown so I feel like leggings are also essential. So glad I picked up a pair of those. What else is in this bag? Ooh! Oh my gosh, I'm starving. 
I did pick up a little shawarma wrap from m and I thought I'll treat myself. I don't always buy my lunch from m and you guys. I usually shop at Lidl, <laughs> I promise. And, um, but yeah, whilst we're out and about shopping, it's nice to just pick up a nice little treat. So I picked up this time the chicken wrap, but this is a shawarma chicken wrap. Marinated British chicken, pickled red cabbage, chilli sauce, garlic dressing and spinach. I've already had half of it. <laughs> so I also picked up my nails in store. It looked like they didn't have my nails in. I've been decorating because obviously we're doing this renovation and just ignore my hands guys. It, it's fake tan day as well. So I'm slathered in fake tan today, hence the hands. But um, I don't know if you can see that, but look at the state of them nails. These are the Primark nails. These have been on two weeks. And I spent a full weekend this weekend with hubby renovating, like real renovating, and they're still intact. They've just got chemical on them because I've been using them chemical wipes to wash down that vintage front door. So um, they're a bit ruined and I'm ready for my next set. I always buy these. I swear by them. They're the pointed gloss. So they are £1.80 and they're the glossy ombre. They do do matte ombre, but I don't feel like they last long enough. And um, yeah, this is what I use all the time on my nails. So they're essentials. And then I picked up some blusher. So I picked up some blusher because I love blusher. Like it's a massive part of my makeup routine. My face isn't complete unless I've got blusher on. And then because I'm filming all the time, I need to put extra blusher on because my friends who film videos as well um, are gonna know this, but if you just wear your normal face of makeup in front of a camera, it looks like you've got no makeup on. You really got a pile on the makeup. <laughs> and like I said, blusher is my go-to. Like, I don't feel like I look alive unless I've got blusher on. So then again, I need more of it because I'm in front of the camera and it's just cheap as chips, isn't it, from um Primark so this is in the shade Desire and it looks like it's got some sort of sparkle in it so I hope it's going to be all right because I don't really like to have like shimmery I don't want really shimmery blusher but it's one pound Ooh. do you ever just feel like god is sat upstairs with the angels and they're all sat on the table, hear me out. And they're all like, oh, let's have a laugh today <laughs> with this one. Because sometimes you guys, I just can't believe how ironic or sometimes when I'm having a bad day and it's just like one thing after the other, everything I touch drops and I just think, you know, someone upstairs is having a laugh, okay? <laughs> anyway, oh. Oh, I think that's it, you guys, apart from a little pot. I went into the pound shop because they sell these. You can't see it properly. Uh, oh, see what I mean? Um, they sell these little, like, oh, no, it's broke. Oh, my God. And that is the reason I went to get it. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the one who's definitely having a laugh today. Seriously, seriously, though. That is so annoying. So basically, if you follow along on the vlogs, we tried to make baked oats the other day. And anyway, that was an epic fail. <laughs> I'm not a baker, let's just say that. And I have these little um, dishes. They're like little oven dishes and they look like Le Creuset dishes. They're cream coloured and they're from the pound shop. The £2.50 from the pound shop. Anyway, um, and one of them had broken here, the little handles on the sides one of them had broken. So I can't just have one in my collection. I need to have at least two. I'm a very symmetrical person, you see. So I thought, oh, whilst I'm in town, I'll just nip into the pound shop and see if they've still got these little dishes in. So then I've got a set of two. And I went in and I got this and it's £2.50 and I put it in my little Primark bag and I've got it home and look, it's broken. <laughs> oh. And I didn't even get a receipt because I did self checkout and that's so... Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm. Delicious. 
So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me today. However, I'm sorry there wasn't a full on like clothing video to follow, there isn't. Uh, usually there is on my channel. And yeah, there's just nothing in store that I'm inspired by at the moment to put outfits together to give you guys them styling videos that you love the most from Primark. I love them and miss them as well, you know. And uh, hopefully next time we go, we'll go in a couple more weeks and see if there's anything else we can do. But until then, I will see you over on the vlogs. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.